and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Welcome to September 17th Council Meeting. All my colleagues are here, the auditor's office is represented, and we will get started because we've got a lot to go through this evening. And Charlie, you're first on the list. <coughs> Appreciate your time tonight. <coughs> I'm here for uh, the Kiwana Union Township Public Library. Um, normally I do our budgets ourselves but I ran into a couple problems with the DLGF this time around. One of them is on uh, the debt service. The withdrawals are being done is what they call a short payment. So I had the timing off on that. So they wanted to make a correction to it, which would make it go over and I would have to come to you instead of my library board as normal. So I prepared a packet for you. Um, it's just who we are and uh, the first one is the advertisement for next month for a adoption hearing. And the amounts I'm requesting, um, 204,000 for a general budget. That's gas, folks, employees. Um, and 67,050 for a debt service. And the next page over shows that debt service. So the uh, <coughs> breakdown of the budget that we actually use the money for. And the last page is debt service and when those payments are due. That debt ends in 2031. And that is our building addition that made us ADA compliant and got the elevator and accessibility. We did way back in 2010, I think. And you said that that debt service payment is is what caused you so wells fargo on that payment okay from chicago uh-huh it's a uh, municipality debt and they pull the money out early they call it a short payment the dlgf said they're short paying it okay i'm not a banker i don't know how they're getting my money too early or what it is okay so they told me that I'm going to be actually even be short this year on the debt service of tune of about 1,500 bucks. So I'd also like to come next month and ask for an additional appropriation $1,500 for the debt service. And to confuse it anymore, I've already got $28,000 in the bank for that debt service payment. Mm -hmm. And it's like $3,250. So however that short payment come up, I'm 1,500 bucks short this year. And then I need a correction for next year on the timing of the payments. There's two payments a year. Okay. Next year's is 35000 and 33500 About half my budget. That hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. That so. hurts. It's a challenge on the operating of the library over there. You know, we're independent. Yes. We just yep. pull off the Union Township taxes. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Any questions from anybody? I have none. Thank you for that explanation. I have any questions. I will read the notice to taxpayers of the Kimono Public Library. We're going to open up a public hearing and we'll have first and second reading tonight yep. and we'll adopt nope. it. Nope. 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 Okay. No nope. first and second reading. You're just public hearing on this one. This is just a public hearing. Oh. Okay. Well, I understood. I saw it. Okay. Which would be the opportunity if you say that <clears throat> you're asking for too much to make a correction to the budget. Mm -hmm. Okay, I stand corrected. Okay, so we'll open up a public hearing. The uh, public hearing is today's date, September 17th. We'll go down through the fund name. It's the general fund. 
the budget estimates, 204,449. The tax levy required, 133,259. And debt service, 67,050, which is what Charlie alluded to. The estimated funds be raised is $87,857. The totals are $271,499 is the budget estimate. And a maximum estimated funds to be raised is $221,116. So at this moment, I will open the public hearing for comments and questions. Any public or board? If there are no questions or comments, I will entertain a motion to close the public hearing on the Kiwana Public Library. So moved. Bill moved. You second? I'll second. Lori seconded. All in favor? 7 0. Thank you. Thank you guys. Appreciate your time. <coughs> Thanks, Charlie. <sighs> Now I will read three different budgets. And then at the end of that, then we will open it up for public hearing on all three of them at once. One is the Fulton County Solid Waste Management District. The other is the Fulton County Airport Authority. And finally, our budget. Solid Waste District, again, we're having this public hearing today, September 17th. The fund name is Special Solid Waste Management. The budget estimate is $834,900. Next is the Fulton County Airport Authority, again, a hearing date, September 17th, today's date, <clears throat> the Airport Authority, $643,100 budget estimate. Maximum funds to be raised is $511,500. The cumulative airport building of $100,000 budget estimate. Maximum estimated funds to be raised is $40,500. The rotary fund of 354,000, zero. And the, finally the grant fund of zero and zero. For a total of $1,097,100 with estimated funds to be raised, 552,000. And last but not least is ours. If I can find the right page. This is for the County of Fulton County. Again, Tuesday, September 17th is a public hearing date. And all three of these will be adopted formally next month, Tuesday, October 15th, 2024. These are the funds and what estimated and what should be raised. General fund, $10,322,790. Tax levy required $4,683,535. Reassessment of $234,187. Tax levy be required $115,086. Debt service $601,250. Estimated tax levy $255,011. Coon Bridge, 357,000. Tax levy, 332,332 dollars. Health Department, 437,566 dollars. Estimated to be raised, 164,024 dollars. Coon Cap, 375,200 dollars. Tax levy required $447,926. Uh, 
the totals, the budget estimate, $12,327,993 with a tax levy of $5,997,914. With that being said, I will open up all three to public hearing uh, for comments from the public and or the board. The hearing is now open. Any questions or comments? Ladies and gentlemen up here, any questions or comments? If there isn't, I will entertain a motion to close the public hearing on these three budgets with final adoption next month. So moved. Phil moved. Need a second? Second. Steve seconded. All in favor? Everybody 7 0. The meeting, the public hearing is closed. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. And next, we'll give you gentlemen benefit of the doubt that we have stick around. We'll make the airport authority next for their additional appropriation. significant changes since 2015 so the airport uh, board decided this was a uh, something we really need to do was update that so we're basically doing an ALP update uh, for the FAA so that was a cost uh, with our consulting firm that, that we hadn't accounted for um, we're also we're also looking at uh, we have some RFQs out right now for a, a structure at the airport it's a 60 by 80 uh, post frame structure to, um, to house uh, all the maintenance equipment for the airport. The airport did have a, a 60 by 80, uh, it, it was a hangar, uh, but the airport did have that and gave that up to a, another a entity that's there at the airport now, the Indiana State Police. So the airport's maintenance equipment is scattered around the airport. <laughs> so uh, we're looking to put up through our view um, a 60 by 80 uh, post frame building yet this year, at least be under contract this year, um, so we can house our equipment under one roof again. And uh, along with that, uh, there is some design engineering work with our consulting engineering firm uh, that we would need to be paying for that we would not have planned for in 2024, or 2023 for the 24 budget. So that, that's where our uh, funds for the additional appropriation, but that's where they're kind of going to. And um, it's, why we're here tonight to ask for that additional appropriation. You were saying to update your <coughs> update your plan? Yes, we call it an ALP. It's an airport layout plan, mm -hmm. which is our long-term plan. Okay. We do we do that every every 20 years, and that's okay. that's kind of our long-term plan. So do, so you're at the time now that that needs to happen. Not a full-blown ALP okay. update. Okay. Uh, this is just kind of an update. Okay. Uh, supplemental to the ALP we completed <coughs> in 2015. Okay. So we're, we're ten, 10 years roughly away from going through the entire thing. Okay. Okay. And we do, and we also do a five year um, master plan as well. Every year we update that, so. Okay. Thank you. I have no other questions. Anyone else have any other questions for Matt? Thank you. If not, I will read. Now, is this going to go through? 
two readings? Is this one? This uh, is resolution, this one. This, one. Yeah. <coughs> this is the additional appropriation <laughs> ordinance or slash resolution. Whereas the proper officers of the County Council of Fulton County Airport Authority, which is a taxing unit of Fulton County, have determined it is now necessary to appropriate more money for calendar year 2024 than the amount that was fixed by the County Council and finally determined in the annual budget under Indiana Code 6-1.1. And whereas notice was duly given to the public in accordance with IC 6-1.1-18-5A and IC 5-3-1-2B for a public hearing on a proposed additional appropriation and a public hearing was held today's date by the County Council regarding the same. Therefore, be it ordained by the County Council of Fulton County Airport Authority, Fulton County, Indiana, that a need now exists for an additional appropriation out of the following fund or funds named for the purpose specified subject to laws governing the same. The fund is the Airport Authority and the additional appropriation of other services and charges of $47,000 in capital outlays of $305,000 for a total of $352,000. Duly adopted by the vote of the County Council this date, September 17th of 2024. <clears throat> Any questions? Where did it come from? Come from the Airport Authority. That right? is correct. It's their money. Yeah. Didn't come out of the general funds. So if there are no questions, comments, I will entertain a motion to approve this resolution. I'll make a motion to approve. Chase, move to approve. We need a second. Brandon, second. second. All in favor? 7 0. Thank you very much. And I will send this down to be signed. There you go, gentlemen. Thank you. Where's your new building going to be, Matt? It will sit on the east side of our, <coughs> our two long T hanger buildings. If you're familiar with those. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is that uh, maintenance working out well? The maintenance company yep. that's in there? Yep. Good. They've been very successful. We've been very pleased with, with them being there at the airport. They seem like a good it, operation. Yeah. A couple of times I've talked to them. It's, it's exciting to see them grow. Good. And they have grown. Yes. Very absolutely. good. They're like everybody else. Can't find enough help. Four, <laughs> four full-time people? <clears throat> right now they're down to two full-time and one part-time. Oh. So they could use a couple more full-time. And that's just all piston engines. That's not jet. Is uh, they good. do very little into the turbine engines. I was going to say, that the way the way gentleman talked it was... Mostly piston, yep. which to me doesn't mean a whole lot. <laughs> okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. And we will move on then to salary ordinance. And that's 091724. Correct? Did we write? Yes. Sorry. That's all right. Now, I will start this salary ordinance, and there are eight pages, and I don't like I don't want to read it all, and I won't. But I will read what's important, and then we can go on from there. Any questions? Don't hesitate to ask. This is ordinance 091724, an ordinance amending county, Fulton County, Indiana salary schedule and compensation policies for 2025. Whereas the county of Fulton, Indiana is an equal opportunity employer, and whereas it is the intent of Fulton County, Indiana to comply with applicable federal and state Indiana employment laws and regulations, and whereas Indiana Code 36-2-5-3, Section 3A, 
establishes that the county fiscal body shall fix the compensation of officers, deputies, and other employees whose compensation is payable from the county general fund, county highway fund, county health fund, county park and recreation fund, aviation fund, and any other fund from which the county auditor issues warrants for compensation. This includes the power to fix the number of officers, deputies, and other employees, describe and classify positions and services, adopt schedules of compensation, and hire and contract with persons to assist in the development of compensation, and whereas Con Fulton County contracted with a professional human resource consulting firm to conduct a job classification and compensation study and Fair Labor Standards Act, FLSA, audit, and whereas Fulton County wishes to establish compensation, payment schedules, and pay policies. So, are there any questions, comments about the salary ordinance? I have none. Um, you all were sent to Senate, so I hope we had a chance to look over it. <clears throat> if there are no comments, I will entertain a motion to approve this ordinance as written. This is the salaries for next year then? Yes. yes. It's been, so we came up with the, what we have, thousand. That's that correct. Out. Yes, that's what that reflects. Yes, that's, yes. Yeah, and that's also the increase for the deputies. And it also has Mike Morris, the extra de uh, Title IX deputy prosecutor in it as well. Wes has his hand. Yes. I was trying to ignore it. It sounded like a question about raises, which is what I was going to ask anyway, if there was a across the board decision or if you could detail that or if there wasn't any at all or if it was different by departments. I don't know if you guys have that information. Across the board, the raises were $1,000 for full time. And part time. And part time and also $2,000 for department heads and elected officials and $1,000 for council and commission. <clears throat> was it a dollar an hour or seven thousand dollars for you know i apologize you are correct pete thank you for correcting okay. it was a dollar an hour for elected no for hourly hourly and part -time. yeah that was my mistake is that a thousand dollars i had a zero in there <laughs> thanks <laughs> pete for correcting me who was the two thousand for department heads is that what you said two thousand for department heads and elected officials except for us and you and me of yeah. course the a thousand dollars for commission for the council you're good you're good you cut two thousand right? <laughs> they always do anyhow so it don't matter and we're on the deputies is that still the dollar no the deputies were what are the increases know. that we were able to come up and talk to you about uh, to bring them up to surrounding counties of our size and demographics thank you sir it was thank you for your hard work well, I appreciate helping it. us out and yeah. on behalf here of, was an agreement but we just need to figure out a way to do it yeah. on behalf so, of the deputies i appreciate that i appreciate the hard work you guys put into that no, so. we appreciate we the hard work they did um, so i guess i will entertain a motion to approve it as written <coughs> And the first second, reading yes and now second reading and by the, title and the second reading by title only so you're asking for a motion to approve the first reading. Sure approved. Steve approved. Pete seconded. All in favor? And now we will have, we will read it. So I'll, I'll make the motion. We have a second yep. reading by title only. Is there a second? I need a second for reading the title second. only. Lori second. I'm glad you keep my Ordinance 091. Oh, wait a minute. I guess we don't have a vote on that. Right. All in favor? <laughs> All in favor? I've got other things on my mind. I apologize. All in favor? 7 0. Okay. Second reading ordinance 091724. An ordinance amending county of Fulton, Indiana, salary schedule and compensation policies for 2025. I entertain a motion to approve the second reading by title only. Steve, motion to approve. Pete, seconded. All in favor? 7-0. We will redo this again next month. Right. Correct. We'll have the third and final 
green and adopt the budget. Next slide. Well, we are moving swimmingly. Okay. Which John wants to step to the plate. Or which John gets forced into it. <laughs> <coughs> you raised your hand and said, pick me, pick me. Yeah, all and told. Good, God. Good afternoon. Uh, these are the work activities for the highway. We've been patching, running the brush chopper. Uh, we have finished pugging. Um, we ground off the bumps on Old 31 North. Um, the striping should be happening if they haven't already start, started. Planning on shouldering uh, our community crossing roads and the roads that we plug for the season soon. And we have started a file restore um, on our community crossing grants. Um, for our federal aid and community crossing uh, projects, the final inspection was on September 5th. The project punch list has been completed. Update on the community crossing, crossing projects. Um, Brooks has completed 900 West between Olson and State Road 110 and has started on the remaining roads that we have for that. Uh, 600 North, 400 North, and over by Lake Bruce. Um, the shop at the highway department, the siding, they're getting that coming along. Or I would say over halfway down with that. And the roof over at Kiwana is completed on the salt shed. Good. So that's saving our good, good, stuff good. there. Um, on the equipment side of things, our Western Star was delivered today, our single axle. axle. And uh, we'll be going over to WA Jones. And we believe in the next, we've got two, the second one will be coming in several months or maybe more. I think that's it on the, <coughs> unless there's questions. First off, good job on getting them bumps off the 31. Yeah. I'm jarring my teeth out when I run the bumps. Combined effort. It was all for you, Steve. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you can ask the improvement. On the, like 450, is that what you just, what would you, what'd you do there? The bio seal today. Okay. Did you always put the sand down in that first? I didn't think so. I just wanted to just come across there for me today. <clears throat> lines look nice on Olson, uh, 31, and everything. Appreciate you filling that hole in on Olson, too. You got any other comments, questions for John? Anybody in the audience? Don't need any money today. I'm not asking for anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. I didn't want to give you a chance. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Okay, that's all. They asked for a note last month. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, anything? Travis. Yeah, just a few things here, real quick. <coughs> you guys got the reports mailed out last week? Yeah. Any questions on collections or the. Monthly stats or animal control, nothing. All right, sweet. We won't go over that then. Um, yesterday we had 133 inmates. 46 of those were for Grant County. 32 were Howard County and five feds. Um, we invoiced a little over 126,000 last month um, to for our whole amount of county inmates to the other counties and feds. What is that number again, please? 126,000. Thank you. Um, we had our annual jail inspection today. Um, everything was fine with that. So um, last week we had a uh, fire inspector come through and they had to do all the inspections prior to the jail inspection, but it's the annual jail inspection. So we'll get that report back sometime, you know, the next probably 90 days or so. So make sure you get you guys a copy of that. So he was pretty excited about a maintenance building going up. So we didn't have to hide gas cans and lifts and things. So, uh, <laughs> so. Um, Jody, for those of you who didn't know, Jody Miller, our major, passed away over the weekend, um, suddenly and very unexpectedly. So um, we're just kind of navigating through that right now. Um, she's did a lot for the office. Um, so um, thanks to everybody that's reached out to help. Um, Christina Haas is out there today with me and, and walked me through payroll. So um, we'll be working on claims tomorrow and just kind of muddling through that. But the uh, family did get uh, services announced for that. So. Viewing will be next Tuesday from 4 to 7 p.m. at Goods. And then the services will be at 11 a.m. Wednesday the 25th at Goods. 
um, and then we'll do a meal at the sheriff's office after the services and everybody's welcome to attend so um, so yeah just keep her family in your thoughts and prayers and that's all I've got so sure sorry to hear that yes. 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 thank you thanks Travis. thank you Brittany, you got anything to report yet? Well, I'll pretend like I do. Okay. <laughs> well, good evening. If you don't know me, I'm Brittany Thompson. Um, this is week two um, as the director for 911 at Fulton County. Just been kind of sifting through emails, trying to catch up what direction I need to go and just make sure I'm up to date as far as I can be. Let's see. I was scheduled to go to a course this week. I just didn't feel it was for. Um, leading people I guess um, I can't think of the word correctly but I canceled that I just didn't feel like it was the right time and place for me to do that which with Jody I don't think it was a good choice because we did take a 911 call um, we had some scheduling issues but we worked through it um, thanks to the sheriff's department the dispatchers were offered grief counseling too just in case they needed that I did start working with Barry Ritter yesterday to do interviews. We have two spots that we're looking to fill. And meet with other department heads, just trying to get on the same page and just be able to work together. Also, Don and I met with Kiwana on the town of Kiwana last week. Um, just They have the fall festival coming up, so they pre presented us with the emergency plan. So we have that, and I think that's all. Well, welcome aboard. Well, thank you. Good luck to you. Thanks. I would like to share one thing. The transition with Brittany has been super, super, super smooth. And ironically, she was going to Jody last week getting help, and now I'm going to Brittany this week getting help. So I'm just kind of full circle of life there. So It's all a team effort, yeah. Yeah. always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for working together. Dawn? As most of you know, I sent out the email to Commissioner's Council, Mayor, and those outs that needed to know. We did a signing with the commissioners last night of the burn ban for Fulton County. We kind of followed suit there. Marshall County put it out first. Us, and then they followed suit. I had a District 2 um, stockholders meeting today over at Winnemac. I'm, just, I'm, I'm tired of this. Over at Winnemac. And um, really informative, it's the first one I've been to. Um, it's, a, it's a quarterly thing, and Dave Summers went over with me also. Um, I let Brittany know that's something that she'll want to go to the next round. We're, we're kind of keeping in touch on things that need to be passed on there. So, uh, But anyways, the burn, um, commissioners also put in there, in their copy, that it will not affect the bonfire this Friday. Um, Rochester Fire Department will be monitoring, monitoring that firsthand, so that will be allowed to take place in case you get any feedback on your ends. That's for the high school. Okay. That's for the high school football game. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. That was a bonfire. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't feel you were kind of looking at me like I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and also um, nobody's jumped up and down, so I have that. Okay. Trail of Courage is this weekend, which a lot of those do fires there. Mm -hmm. Um, they're, if they're used to it, they'll know, um, and I'm reaching out to the fire departments to let them know in our state codes, and I'm going to make sure the fire department which they know, but you can do it. You can have your fire. Let's try to get it covered, and you're cooking on it. So that's, that's the two biggest things, that you can still go ahead and have your own fire. Um, other than that, I'm gone next week. My volunteers know this. My volunteers are great. They're my right hands right now because I'm still looking for a deputy also um, to fill the position. But um, I will be first round of phone calls and then my deputies or my assistants in the uh, volunteers will take care of that. So I'm gone next week and I am also gone again in October. Um, this one's for training, the next one's for conference in October. So I think that's it. Can't think of anything else that kind of look at Rick and them like I forget anything so but unless you guys have any questions that's it any questions for I have none thank you don't walk in the office right now I'm in the middle of moving offices around and the building's a wreck again so. 
Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, see anyone else? So, moving on, we will go to minutes. Did everyone have a chance to look the minutes over? The first one was our budget meeting on Tuesday, August 13th. Any additions or corrections, anyone see? No. If not, we'll entertain a motion to approve as written. Steve, motion to approve. Lori seconded. All in favor? 7-0. This we got assigned. And secondly was our meeting on August 20th. Same thing, did everyone get a chance to read them? Okay. Look them over, any additions or corrections? Nope. If not, I will entertain a motion to approve as written. So moved. Bill moved to approve, Randy seconded, all in favor? 7-0, thank you. <clears throat> okay, we have no transfers, and we have no additional appropriations. So therefore, those will go quick. So, old business, Pete? No, sir. Randy? No, sir. Chase? No, sir. Lori? No. Steve? No. Bill? I have none. I do not either. The elder's office have anything? Any old business from the audience? And we'll move on to new business, Pete? No. Randy? No. Chase? Um, I guess I just wondered if we could um, maybe stand and just take a minute uh, for Jody and all her years of service for the county in the city. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chase. I worked with her 30 some years ago, and she was at the city, and I was at the county. So. <coughs> uh, Lori? No, I have Steve? No. Bill? I have none. I do not have any. Elder's office? You don't know. Anyone? Kathy? One quick thing. I forgot, since I went here last night to let the commissioners know, we did have our tax sale last Thursday. We offered 100 parcels for sale. We sold 33 of the 100 parcels, so I was extremely happy with that. So that means the search certificate sale in the spring will be 67 parcels. That's the smallest we've ever offered. Oh, good deal. So we're getting there and getting people to pay. It's taken been a long road, but going from 300 parcels seven years ago to 100 parcels this year is Wow, a lot of hard work, but yeah. just letting you know. I appreciate that. Thank Good. you very much. Any new business besides Kathy? If not, if there's nothing else, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Pete moved. Lori Segwood, all in favor? 7 0. Thank you very Seven much for listening yeah. to me stumble around. <coughs> Would I be able to get copies of those budgets? Oh, yeah, check out for you. Hey, John. Oh, sure. We received it. Just I don't think there is. 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 Well, that's how you go.